Hey y'all, it's Soldiers. Ow, ow, ow. And I'm back with another video. Like, bitch, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 8.24 in the morning. It's a Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday morning. It's right now. Disclaimer of my fucking lips. I know. Amazing. I'm having some issues on the side. Just please leave me alone. Don't come for me in the comments. I'm basically just very dehydrated and that's just what it is and i don't understand because i drink water 24 fucking 7 but i didn't have a lot of alcohol in my system not too long ago so i'm just dealing with this right now and it's fucking hideous and i hate it and i don't even know why i'm filming right now because i feel so ugly filming but we got to get a video out for you guys and come to find out i actually did film an entire mukbang in my brand new car um, I had Chick-fil-A in the morning, I recorded it, and for some reason I either lost the SD card or I was never actually recording, and that's just the epic fail of moi right here. So, like you guys have known, I recently just bought my brand new dream car, the Range Rover Evoque. It's a 2021, and I showed you guys the entire process of basically me buying it and what it's like to, you know, buy a car this expensive at 19 years old, because it is an expensive ass car, trust me. That payment is hitting real, real soon. You guys have followed this, you know, dream with me for a while and i thought why not i haven't gave you guys a official car tour um and i was honestly waiting to have a lot of new stuff that came in like for example my steering wheel cover i never had this and there's just some other little things that i added so yeah i just wanted to guys and kind of show you actually all the cool things because you're probably like jersey it's just you just got it because it just says range rover yeah i really did it was it's my dream car and it's big it's bulky that's what i wanted but there's also a lot of cool features for what you are paying for so i just want to show those and point those out to you guys and really just give you a big car tour of my dream car so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk you guys throughout the outside first here i'm gonna act like i'm you know the dealership guy is what i'm basically gonna do you guys throughout the outside and then we'll come into the inside and go from there so let's get it going yeah needs to save money i actually have to fill up today and then we can also go over like i know it might be a little tmi for you guys to know but i'm gonna let y'all know on like what it's like to own a car like this and to have you know gas nowadays and all of that shit so so here is what it's looking like on this side just because of where i parked at but okay we're gonna start from the front of it you guys so you can just really get a good look this is what it looks like i'm really wanting to get my top like overall the whole car tinted because i do live in arizona and it's mad fucking hot like it is really really hot so i wish i had someone here that was able to record me I feel like that would have been better, but it's okay, you guys. You know I'm behind the camera, so just enjoy my sexy voice, okay? So this is the front of the car, and I'm gonna show you guys what it does when I lock it, because I feel like this is a really cool feature and like a favorite thing of mine. Boom, you lock it, and then it has where it goes in on like the sides and on the windows. Did that like side thingy, and then when you unlock, boom and i also got this key fob off of amazon or not key fob but key whatever holder it's really freaking cute on amazon so yeah the um sides of the door is like coming out rather than you just pulling it because a lot of the range Rover models do still have that mo like that look and i don't really like that um i feel like in the beginning i didn't want the evoke because i don't know i didn't like it i thought it was too small for me but now it's just like literally perfect for me one thing about like the front that i love is this black right here i feel like it just adds so much so yeah it's pretty basic like the front is pretty it's nothing crazy right literally just like this and then i just recently got my wheels blacked out and i'm actually taking them in today that's why i'm filming this um like asap because i won't have my car for two days so i just got these you know um uh, painted black or whatever so that's black and i really can't change the inside right here so that kind of irks me in a way because it is silver but it is what it is these bolts are going to be changed out to black so it's just going to look very smooth and seamless i did just get two new front tires which is awesome 
when I bought the car, the two front tires were not in the best shape. So I basically told Land Rover, I'm not buying the car unless you guys give me two new front tires. And they did. And I finally got those reinstalled because I was on vacation for so long. They were already at Land Rover. Um, and they were calling me to make appointments, but I couldn't make appointments because I was on vacay. So, so it's basically going to be like all blacked out and don't come for me. I haven't gone on a car wash yet because I did just also get the top blacked out. So basically, if you guys saw in my previous video, this was like white or whatever. This was white. I think this was already black. So it wasn't too crazy, but yeah, this was white um right here was white and i really just wanted that like range rover look to where it was just blacked out at the top i'm thinking i am just gonna go black i haven't decided yet i'm really thinking like this black and white vibe is very classy so i'm gonna wait on wrapping the car itself but that's a wrap az did do my top and also my rims as well he has a guy that he partners up with to do the rims so definitely go check them out you guys because if i do end up getting a wrap he will be the one that will be wrapping my entire car so you guys can kind of go out and watch that process and if you're in az you know the avondale area it's perfect because he's right there so yeah he did a great amazing job i haven't seen any you know marks at all of it it really looks seamless it looks like the car came that way the blacks match perfect so yeah that's really awesome i feel like the tires were like the main thing i can show you guys my license plate obviously but then we have like the range rover right here on the back you can really see it during this um the sun i also do like is like this i don't know if you can really tell but this right here this black is like a shiny black um the other range rovers some of them come with like more of a this is like very sturdy like it's like a metal and the other one is almost like plastic i don't know if that makes sense but and that could still be plastic but what i'm saying is it looks very high end and that's what i like about the back of it and then of course we just have the evoke you know regular schmegular thing in the back um and then i have that little like it's a camera up there so that's pretty dope and then let me show you guys now much it of like the back of it so i'm gonna show you guys one of my also favorite things that i've always wanted i have this like little button down here by my license plate i'm not gonna show you guys obviously but the button basically takes the entire you know trunk up and i just love that it's so like <laughs> big girl vibes um so yeah here is the trunk or whatever here's what it's looking like you know it's pretty big um i mean it's also like nothing crazy special my seats do go down so that's cool 21 evoke fiji white so yeah i have a tire and everything so that's just stored right under there so that's also cool that i have this like little pocket the button goes right back down it's super nice to my back seats then my back seat has stayed pretty clean because I've kept my nieces out of here. I'm just joking. I've kept them in. Um, the door, nothing really special to it. I mean, you know, I don't really know what this button means, but maybe child lock or something like that. You feel luxurious when you're in the car, honestly. That's what I've gotten from a lot of people when they've gotten in it. But um, this is, you know, just a speaker. So I have like a really good surround system, I would say. And then just basic this, you know, have this or whatever. One thing that I do love, my Honda did not have air conditioning in the back. So this is clutch for being in, Air in Arizona. I love that, that it has air conditioning because the girls, whenever they were in my Honda, they would always be mad hot and I felt terrible about it. You know, just black. I did really want cream, so definitely for my next Range Rover cream is a goal of mine to get this is my shopping shit please don't look at it <laughs> never seen my cup holders before so yeah this is what my cup holders are that's also clutch you know having some good cup holders road trips or whatever um i got this purse thingy from amazon really be in the back seat that much the front and you guys i'm sorry if it keeps going like darker or whatever it just has to adjust here's the front i can control all of the windows obviously i don't know what this means i haven't figured that out yet um this is for my what are those my um my mirrors or whatever i can control those figure out how i want them of course lock and button whatever and then this is also a really cool feature i love this like this is so cool so basically if i push one like oh my it might not work because my car's not on or it should so like so one is my seating arrangement and two is anthony's seating arrangement so like 
you can tell like it's going back or whatever you know so that's pretty cool because you don't have to do it every single time you get in I need to turn my car on so it is a push start it does say um, good morning juror so that's really cool and then this is basically now, if you're a car junkie, you're going to enjoy all this extra stuff for me. I don't really care for it, but my brother was like, oh my gosh, that's so... So I do have slope assist, um, the compass. That's actually really cool because I do not know this at all. I'm like so bad about it. Um, wheel info, wave sensing, um, energy impact, driving style. And then as far as this is right here, I have the comfort program, which is what I typically drive on. I have eco, um, I have dynamic, I have grass, gravel, snow, um, mud ruts, and sand. So I literally have all of those if I ever come in that inconvenience, you know. see is actually so cool the way it goes, but literally I have seven in Arizona heated seats didn't come with um cooling seats so next car for sure want it to have cooling seats this is what i typically drive on comfort and then this because if you've never if you've ever been in like you know luxurious cars or whatever they have it where it can help you save gas and like when you stop at a red light or a stop sign your car basically shuts off and then it just goes re back on when you like push the gas I genuinely like personally don't like that so I always put this off so that I don't have that on a drive through or whatever and I know I'm gonna be stuck for a little bit I can just push hold and I don't have to have my foot on the gas on the brakes nothing like that and it will simply just hold itself this is pretty simple reverse neutral drive and I do have sport I have not yet to really test out the sport um, I feel like that's why I didn't need to you know get a crazy car that was like stupid fast I mean trust me this car can actually go pretty fast but I haven't like I don't do it like I don't need to do it Anthony maybe has done it one time when I first bought it just so that he could try it out and I was like okay oh I need to talk about this this is one of my favorite things I can literally switch from being seeing everything that's behind me and when I tell you guys I can see people in their cars like I literally can and I can see them pick it, picking their burger bur burgers doing all that and then this can just literally boom I'm like right in it I don't know if you guys can see me it's dark but then now I can see myself and I could go like this and I could literally push this button adjust the brightness go um up if I wanted to go down if I wanted to it's kind of creepy I never knew people had that in their car so that's a little weird but it's also a cool thing if you have it in your car um, and then this is where my sunglasses go I love this I've wanted one of those so bad the sunroof right so I can basically just push it with one and it just takes it all back it doesn't open but my Honda car it did open the entire sunroof and honestly, I've never used it. So the, that, like, this is really good for filming for me because I always do, you, you know, need better lighting and stuff. So I feel like that came in clutch to give me a lot of lighting. Car tour, um, the little things that I did get, you guys saw my steering wheel is like a black sparkly color. I got that from Amazon. I'll have everything, like, I'll have my Amazon storefront in the um description so if you guys want to get anything from there and then the push start i have the simple diamond little ring over there i don't want to add too much to the inside of the car because it is very like a super classy car and i just don't want to add anything too crazy to it um one thing that i actually am really loving right now that i got from amazon is this like little trash can it's probably so meaningless to some people but i feel like if you have kids or whatever like i have trash in there right now and I'd much rather not have it in my cup holder and just have it in here and once a week, you know, toss it out or whatever at the gas station whenever I fill up gas. And yeah, so it's literally just like simple push thingy or whatever. So that's really cool. I just keep that on the side of me right here, kind of where your cup holder would fit at or your cup could fit. But yeah, other than that, you guys, I'm seriously, I'm so in love with it. I love it so much and it's been such a blessing and I feel like it's definitely made me, um, work a lot harder because i feel like some people who do end up getting their goal you know they could just stop and be like oh okay yay i did it but for me i feel like it's just making me work harder and harder and i just want to say literally i would not have been able to get this without you guys at all um you know and i just i feel very blessed to be able to do this at 19 and i just want to thank you guys so much for 
you know helping me and being able to do this and thank you so much for supporting me and I'm really just gonna continue grinding on from here this is just you know making me stronger and making me want to work ten times harder so I I hope you guys enjoy seeing all this content just as much as I do. If you guys enjoyed this video, comment down below what other videos you guys want to see. I actually do have a video of um, my entire family's reaction to my car and I could wait to post it till Friday if you guys want because Justice is coming to Arizona Thursday and I'm he's gonna be seeing my car for the first time actually in person. Do that, just let me know. And, and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye Jersey girls. Mwah. Oh, by the way. Flutter is dropping what next week yeah most positive next week is the date so um oh I put it in drive I'll make sure to you know keep you guys a little bit updated on that today we have a photo shoot for Flutter and I am beyond excited for everybody to see what I've been working my ass off on and yeah I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do so be prepared for that get your bank account ready because trust me you're not gonna want to miss this and you're gonna want it real bad once you see this photo shoot so i love you guys and we out Mwah. bye Jersey girls bye, -bye.